Small bathrooms can be some of the most challenging areas to decorate in your home or in your business. This weekend, my husband and I celebrated our fifth wedding anniversary by opening an intimate event center, Lux Studio. In that event center, we have some extremely small bathroom spaces, and I would like to share with you today how we remade it. This is Melanie, and welcome to Living Luxuriously for Less. One of the first updates we made was to the paint. We decided to go with a lighter gray and it looks so fabulous and it's so neutral um, and it looks great throughout the space. Now one of the things I loved about this bathroom was the ceiling. It looked very rustic. It had that galvanized metal along with the wire light. I thought it was perfect but it was missing a mirror above the sink and I wanted to put something over the toilet area and I was going to leave that wall that blank gray color. Now the first thing I did was I added this one big huge statement piece from Kirkland's and that's probably one of my first tip when you're decorating a small space add one big statement piece and you know you will get that big bang that you're looking for without overwhelming the space by adding a lot of small pieces. Now this piece was um not on sale at Kirkland's. It was actually a splurge purchase for me. It was $69.99, but on that particular day, they had an additional 25 or 30% off. So it ended up being around $50, but it was definitely worth it because it gave me that look that I was going for because I wanted to keep the rustic yet industrial galvanized metallic look going in this space. And so this particular piece looked amazing in the space and that's all I needed right above that toilet area. I didn't put anything on the back of the toilet because again it's a small space and I did not want to overwhelm that space. Now as you can see right in the corner I had a little blank space that I wanted to work with and I found a perfect accent table at Ross. It was on it was uh, only $24.99. I thought it was a great price for this mirror table. I love the industrial um, kind of engineered look of this table um, it had just a lot of different little gold pieces and I thought that blended really well with the large piece above, above the toilet and I just added a few accent pieces on the top of the mirror to kind of give it that warm cozy feeling and one key to using the mirror in a small space is that it kind of gives you the illumination um, that the space is bigger than what it really is and so again that metal just kind of flow the metal table flow with the huge accent piece above the toilet area and then with those small um, accent pieces it just looked really great and really clean and I added a little piece of greenery on top of a little um, bucket that I picked up or barrel it's a mini barrel that I picked up from Hobby Lobby I'm absolutely in love with this piece I love the way it pops off that gray color it gives you like a grayish creamish vibe but you're only picking up more of the light gray in this video so yeah I love that way that that turned out so I needed a little bit of something on the floor and I went to Ross again I found this brown and grayish color uh, khaki color runner I loved it because it kind of matched the geometric print in the table and again it all kind of bounced off each other in the corner instead of nailing some type of toilet holder to the wall or to the side of the sink I opted for a freestanding one it is also in a gallery a nice color it's a it's more of a bronze color but it's not picking up that well I picked it up at Ross for $8.99 and underneath the sink I used it to house the cleaning products extra tissue and paper towels and trash bags and things of that nature I picked up these baskets the biggest one was $5.99 the smaller ones were $3.99 I absolutely love, love those um, and I got those from Ross as well along with this mirror oh my gosh it was a perfect combination of that metal brown and gold and bronze and silver look that I was going for I could not have asked for a better mirror I wanted it to be a tad bit smaller but it was per uh, perfect for this space and I loved it now for the trash can I picked up this it was actually a linen basket from TJ Maxx but it worked perfectly and I just lined it with a clear trash bag so here is the overall space again you guys I absolutely love the way that it turned out I 
I decided to leave the wall behind a mirror blank because you just kind of, you know, need an an airy area area in a small space and again once you once you walk in it was really hard for me to film it but it really gives you that warm and inviting feeling and with all of the architecture behind the toilet and above on the ceiling you really didn't need a whole lot more and this mirror was just perfect for the space again and I absolutely love the way that it turned out I hope you guys enjoyed this video and please be sure if you haven't already to like comment and subscribe and until next time it's Melanie with living luxuriously for less cheers